Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. I am so excited for today's video. This video has been in the works for a while now. And as you can see from the title, today we're talking about the Avisense. So, a couple months ago I uploaded a video about the Ava bracelet, the pros and the cons to the Ava bracelet. If you haven't seen that video, I will link it in the description for you and up in the cards. You can go watch that really quick if you want to know my thoughts on the Ava bracelet. Um, but spoiler alert, I'm not a fan of the Ava bracelet. Um, yeah, you can go watch that video if you're interested in my thoughts on that. But today I wanted to sit down and finally film my thoughts on the obvious sense. It was really cool. Um, obvious sense actually saw my video about the Ava bracelet and they were so confident that I would like the obvious sense. They did offer to send me one to give it a whirl. For those of you that don't know me, um, my name's Kelsey. I've been going through infertility and infertility treatments for over two and a half years now. I do have PCOS, which is polycystic ovarian syndrome. And um, yeah, we've been through a hell of a road. If you haven't uh, caught up on our journey, this is what our YouTube channel is about. We document our infertility journey here. So feel free to subscribe and let's just get talking about Obvisense. Okay, so when Obvisense had first reached out to me, I wasn't super familiar with what Obvisense was. So let me break it down for you real quick if you also aren't too sure what Obvisense is. Here's my Obvisense. Yes, I'm going to show this to you. This is a medical device. Um, and it, it's amazing what this little thing can do. So I'm going to show this to you. This feels really invasive to my personal privacy, but whatever. So this fun little device um, goes where you think it goes. Um, yeah, this bad boy goes into your vajayjay. And uh, you sleep with it in. And it is... A, I like to call it a little spermy. It looks like a little little sperm. Yeah, okay, we're gonna put her away now because I feel really weird showing this to you. Yeah, so that's the obvious sense. That's what it looks like. Yes, this does go in your vagina and you sleep in it. Okay, so let's talk about what the obvious sense does compared to other fertility kind of methods and tracking and other devices. Okay, so first and foremost, the Obvisense is a fully certified medical device. Um, and it's been through not one, but two clinical trials. Another thing that I think right off the bat I need to say that I like about Obvisense is Obvisense is marketed toward those of us with polycystic ovarian syndrome, irregular cycles, medicated cycles, IUI, IVF, oral medications, you name it. This device is made to go along with that. If you're not on fertility meds, that's fine. The Obvisense is great for you too, but that is what attracted me so much to the Obvisense when they reached out. They were like, you have PCOS, you're going through fertility treatment. This device can help you. And boy has it. Um, I'll dive into that in a minute. I just wanted to kind of clear up some things about what Obvisense is and what it does. Okay, so you might be thinking, what does that little device do while it's in your body? So what Obvisense is doing while you're sleeping is tracking your core temperature. Um, and core temperature is absolutely different than basal body temperature. So if you've been a TTCer for a while, you might be familiar with basal body temperature. Um, it's when you take your temperature first thing in the morning at rest and um, you chart it in a graph. So Obvisense kind of takes it a step further. So Obvisense can detect ovulation 24 hours in advance to let you know like, hey, girl, it's time to baby dance. You're about to do this. Um, and it also gives you an eight day fertile window. So I know some like ov ovulation predictor kits give you like a three to four day one. They're really not accurate if you have PCOS because your LH hormone can spike and ovulation cannot occur. Obvisense can actually catch all of that. Um, and it's really amazing like what that little computer device thing in your body is doing. So like I was saying, like doing your um, oral temperature or ovulation protector kits, they cannot actually tell you when you ovulated or when you're about to ovulate. Um, and they're not completely accurate, um, especially if you have PCOS. So Obvisense is 99% 
accurate. So Ovisense can detect the initial rise in progesterone right after ovulation, which is really cool. Um, and you'll start to see um, once you're tracking in Ovisense kind of what your what your hormones are doing. If you are on meds, if you aren't on meds, it will it will track all that for you and give you some really interesting information. Okay, so a little bit about my experience with uh, the Ovisense. It was. I've had it now for, uh, t well, I've actually had it longer than two months. So I attempted to use the Ovisense, and I'll pop up uh, screenshots here of what my charts look like. I attempted to use the Ovisense for our very first attempt at IUI. Um, and if you guys follow my channel, you will know my very first IUI actually was canceled due to overstimulation. So we had a little bit of a hiccup in the road, and I stopped using Ovisense because I did have to go on birth control to shrink all the cysts. Long story short. Anyways, this last cycle, we also used the Ovisense while attempting IUI, and I learned a lot of valuable information from Ovisense, so much so that I actually told my doctor about it, and we are tweaking my um, next IUI protocol. So, we pop up a picture here of what this, uh, my chart looked like this last cycle, and a couple things about it. So, in my, um, cycle that we did IUI, we did the HCG trigger shot. And if you aren't familiar with that, that shot just, um, forces your body to ovulate the follicles that you've created. Um, so we did the trigger shot and we did my IUI about 24 hours after the trigger shot. Um, and if you don't know, also the trigger shot forces your body to ovulate within 12 to 48 hours after the shot. Um, while wearing Ovisense, I actually learned, so here's a picture of my uh, chart and I circled where we did the trigger shot. I found out uh, through my chart that I am actually one of the 48 hour ovulators after a trigger shot, not a 24 to 36 hour ovulator like a lot of people are. So with that information, I learned that our next IUI needs to be done a little bit later. We did my IUI 24 hours after trigger, and now from Ovisense, I have asked my doctor if we can do IUI 36 hours after the trigger shot. Um, if you don't know, um, washed sperm from IUI doesn't quite live as long as regular sperm because it is washed and it, um, it, it dies a little bit faster. So doing the IUI around closer to ovulation gives uh, your body more time for the egg to meet up with the sperm while they're still living. Um, so I do think that my IUI was done a little bit too soon and Ovisense helped me figure that out. I would never have known um, otherwise. So uh, that is probably my favorite feature about Ovisense um, is that it confirms your ovulation date and the longer you use it, so say you use it for a couple cycles, it gets to know you even better. It predicts your fertile window, when you're gonna ovulate. So I think it's really interesting. You can also input little notes in there of the medications you're on. Um, yeah, so I am a big fan of this. I, okay, so to preface, I have not used the Ovisense not being medicated. I was curious and wanted to see some charts of some PCOS gals that have longer cycles um, and uh, Ovisense helped them conceive. So I'm going to show you guys a couple of those charts that I have found. Um, most of these women had longer cycles, um, some of them shorter, um, but you can tell um, the, the more rapid big changes in a chart is a kind of an indicator of some hormone imbalances. Um, it shows that like your temperature isn't very steady. When I was on progesterone during the two week wait after ovulation, you can see my chart was pretty, pretty steady. Um, a lot of women that are using Ovisense, so once you have your ovulation confirmed, it tells you that you can stop using the sensor. But I know many, many, many women continue to wear the sensor throughout the two week wait um, because they like to watch their temperature continue to rise. Uh, aware a te temperature increase during the two week wait can be a pretty solid indicator that you could be pregnant. Um, and then an indicator that you are not pregnant and your period is coming is usually if your temperature line dips below the cover line of where your ovulation was. So 
it's really fascinating. Um, Obviousense has a really helpful Facebook group that you can join that I'll leave in the description um, if you're interested. Um, even if you can check it out before you buy, you can read all kinds of experiences. I've posted in there a ton, um, just like asking questions because you know, it's, it's a lot and their customer service is really helpful. So I did just want to talk about like my very first couple days using Obvisense. The very first night using it, I will not lie, I was freaking out. Just like, is it gonna fall out? Is it gonna go somewhere? What's gonna happen? Am I gonna get toxic shock syndrome? Like all the things. So um, it was really sweet. The Obvisense um, social media people, I don't know if that's their job, but they talked to me on Instagram DMs and assured me, and it made me feel better, once the Obvisense is in, it has nowhere to go. Like, your vagina, it, it, there's, you can't get through the cervix, like it's not happening. So the only way out is out. So I do wanna say that if you are gonna uh, hop on the Obvisense train, to not be nervous, there's nowhere for it to go. Um, if it falls out, it falls out, you put it right back in. I did wanna mention that the way this, um, detector is red is it comes with this thing called an NFC detector or um, adapter thing. Um, it does have one of these bad boys so if you have a newer phone make sure you have a dongle so you can actually plug it in or you can do what I do and I use my iPad. I just leave my iPad in the bathroom, wake up in the morning, rinse off my obvious sense real quick you connect it to this bad boy, it senses it, um, and don't worry if you wash it in cold water, the Obvisense is smart enough to know that the temperature of the water you're washing it is not a normal um, human temperature and it retains the information that your um, body is giving the sensor, so no worries there. I do suggest you follow Obvisense on Instagram. Um, they will tell, tell you about uh, different promotional periods they're doing where you can get a, a, a good discount on the Obvisense. I did want to say too that their website is very informative so if there's anything I'm not touching on that you're curious about, highly highly suggest you check out their website. Um, it has a lot of information. Those are kind of my thoughts on Obvisense. I am a fan. I am very impressed with its knowledge. I will say I did get a little bit nervous because it predicted that I ovulated sooner and as I continued to wear it, it did bump it back a day. So don't get discouraged if maybe your first round with it, it's not 100% right away. It will figure itself out throughout that cycle and tell you affirmatively when you ovulated. So your line might move, might not move. So just stick with it, give it a second cycle. And I promise it's gonna figure your body out, it's gonna know, it's gonna tell you things that you, that it's the information you wanna know. Thank you obviously for sending, one, sending me one to try, I really appreciate it. And um, I look forward to continue to use it until we have succeeded. Yeah, I think that's it. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.